Out the phone, playing Pokemon Go while he's in a battle. You gotta stay focused, man. You gotta stay focused. Stop playing that Pokemon Go, goddammit. Trainer tips. Why am I reading these? I've never read these in, like, my life. Like, ever. Adrenaline orb. The hell is an adrenaline orb? Boost speed when intimidated. Can only be used once. I mean... That's interesting. Huh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I, sh I should feel something about that, but I just kind of don't. Whatever, man. Hey, let's just keep the battles going. We gotta, gotta tramp the team here. And, you know, yeah, that's all there is to it. All there is to it. We got this cook here. <laughs> he looks like a Muppet. <laughs> like, look at him. He looks like a fucking Muppet. Cutie fly! Alright, we can take on the cutie fly. Throw a nice little peck peck at it. I think we're gonna be good. I think we're going to be good. You know, just thinking about this. I think that Trumbeak may evolve rather early because usually if it evolves at like a lower level, obviously, not always, but the trend is that then it evolves its final evolution earlier. So maybe it's a level 30 evolution, not like a level 35, 36 kind of deal, you know? You never know. You never know. So with that, are we... We got some berries here. Alright, we got anything cool here because we got the crab brawler from a pile of berries, which was... Very cool. And here's another crab brawler. Very cool. <laughs> I guess these things just fucking love their berries. They're, that's that's all that I've found. This is like my third berry pile. And they've all been crab brawlers. So, you know, yeah. Alright. Wow, almost took it out. Come on, man. You gotta take it out. Crab brawler is pretty good, man. Uh. Really? They could do that? Dude, what the fuck? I'm running away right now. <laughs> I'm not feeling that right now. I don't want to die right now because of Crab Brawler calling in backups. Like, man, I'm not feeling that right now. Nah. Can't do it. What do we have here? We have a Lillipup. Okay, I mean, hey. They really have uh, not been shy at all about bringing back old Pokemon and making them have quite a presence. I mean, really, they do have... Quite a presence here in the, in, in like the wild and battles just everywhere, you know? And not even just like a little forms, just like in general, you know? It's interesting. All right, so here we are. I believe we're about to be in the next town, right? Is that it? Paniola Town. This is like an old western town. What the hell is this doing in a tropical island? Hey, Josh, glad I ran into you. So we can see you stronger now. This guy is always up for battle. You know what? I'm okay with that. My gramps must have thought I did good enough in my grand trial because he gave me a Z-Ring too. Having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like we're real old-fashioned western showdown. Or, or Yeah, sure, great. This is so cool. Though if we were real honorable cowboys, we got to make sure our teams are healthy first. Do you see that Pokemon Center in the back? That is the most out-of-place Pokemon Center I've seen in my life. That does not look like that belongs here by any sense of the imagination. So, he's gonna heal us up before the battle, which is very nice. Glad they're doing that for us. And, you know, yeah. Alright. Alright! Trying to make up my mind about this town. We haven't really haven't had a Western town in Pokemon games. But this is, like, crazy. It's like, I would think it would be in some other game, not, you know, a tropical island game, you know? So, you know, honestly... I just want to kind of use Brick Break on this thing. Because I'm probably going to die. I don't want to switch, to be honest. I just want to see how much damage that we could do. Maybe we could take it out. If it just goes with the quick attacks, I mean, fuck, you know? Bastard. Well, yeah. I should probably use the Z-Crystal soon. I, like, have not used those. It's like a big part of this or something. I haven't used it once. I don't know what I'm wasting my time with. So that'll take us out. Hey, if we use the Z-Move, maybe that would have that would have been a different result there. But, you know, hey, it's all good. We're going to try we're gonna try Crab Baller again. I want to give it another chance here. You know, we used it once, really, and it, it kicked ass. So I want to use it more, get it more screen time here, more battle time. And, I mean, hey, the Brick Break is powerful, you know? We can just do that. 
We can take some hits. I mean, early signs are showing that. Why not? Why not? And just like that, level 14 coming at us. Very cool. Now, wow, that gave us a lot. Look at that. So uh, we're going to have Dartix. That is going to be the middle evolution now of Rowlet. I found this interesting. For the battle, for a rival that we're battling all the time, he has the starter that, like, we're good against. I don't know if that's them just trying to make it easier or something, but I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. But yeah, let's just go for the Fire Fang. Should be able to take it out. Maybe one hit even. You know, we're pretty good right now at the levels. And all right, close enough. Got Razor Leaf coming at us. All right. I see you. That's a good amount. For what it was, that's a good amount. All right, so Fire Fang, get this thing out of here, and we'll be looking good. Looking good. I'm gonna try using the Z Crystal because I'm kind of just curious, and it's it's a it's a new part of the game. I want to try it out. Want to try it out, you know? Definitely. Look at that Crevroller picking up them levels, picking up them levels. Look at that. That was two levels in one battle. That's spectacular right there. Good shit. Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all looked like they had a blast, too. Right then, here, I'll share a bit of my good luck with you, Josh. A dire hit. I mean, hey, probably not going to use that, but thank you very much. You know, the totem Pokemon are all, like, surrounded by some aura of power. If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon, great, so your critical hit ratio is awesome and whatever. You know, Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Great. You fucking lost, all right? Sorry. Anyway, I'm heading off to Panolia Ranch. Paniola. Paniola. It's a mighty fine place. I reckon I could get to like it here, partner. Lord. All right, so we're going to heal it up. We got Picky Peck down right now, so we'll just take care of that. And, you know, I think we're going to switch into Crab Brawler. You know, honestly... We've used it a little bit here and there, and it has not really failed us. I wanted to get some more screen time. I want to use it some more, and you know, just get to get to feel out a little bit more as a Pokemon. And you know, yeah, we're just gonna do that right now. I gotta get used to this new switching method. God damn it! It's like it's so like weird. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I don't know. All right. Well, that's okay. It's uh. Talk to some people. Talk to some people. Want to check if there's anything new in here, actually. If there's any new people or anything. I, I didn't do this for the other ones, which is not great, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Just gotta start it now, man. There's sometimes some cool stuff in Pokemon centers. You never know. You never know. Mill tank. They really have a lot of Pokemon modeled out. Like they could maybe do that, like walking with Pokemon. Maybe in the next Gen 7 game. Whatever that may be. If there is one. You know, yeah. What's up? Alright, you don't talk, that's okay. I feel like we should be riding a Tauros. You know what I'm saying? Wait what? Look at your crab ball, it weighs less than 110 pounds, then it shouldn't take too much damage, even if it's hit with a move like Grass Knot. It's great how you can check the weight. thought he was going to teach us Grass Knot or something cool like that, but nah, nah. It's just a tease. Just a tease. Alright, that's okay. Do we have any access to any of these buildings? Nah. That's alright. Let me get on our Tauros right now. Wow, Penula Ranch, that is a small town. That is a small, small town. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Great, I'm down, man. Let's let's battle it out. Yo, she gave us the fucking death stare, like, she saw, she was like, no, no, fuck you, we're battling. We're battling. Look at her. She's this, like, sweet little old lady, and, like, she, like, flipped shit when we turned around, like, damn. So we got Carbon coming at us. Uh, I think that's Rock Fairy. So it's neutral against us in terms of uh, if we use Brick Break on it. Not the best type matchup for us, but... Yeah, this thing is bulky as fuck. 
Honestly, though, this is their best bet, I would say. I mean, we don't really have much better. Carbink is extremely bulky, so, you know, this is, yeah. It's our best bet. We're going go for a Leer, actually. And you're going to sharpen. Okay. Well, that whole turn kind of backfired really, really badly. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. All right. Crit. That is very nice. Man, this thing is setting up. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Right now, we, we need a water type for Pokemon like this. I mean, Bubble's not going to do a lot, guys. We're, we're not a physical... We're not a special attacker. We don't have the stab with it. It's just not a great move right now. So it's going to be Smackdown. That's probably going to do a lot of damage, actually. And, you know, actually, it doesn't. that's not very surprising. First of all, it's not very effective. But Carbink isn't a very offensive Pokemon. Even after the two Sharpens, it's not a huge deal. Unless he used the forward store. Oh, my God. Why are you doing that? That is so unnecessarily annoying. Oh, my goodness. We got a crit, though. Yo, Crab Brawler is like... Crab Brawler can come through, alright? You know, I, I like Crab Brawler. He's been really clutch sometimes. You know, I'm just saying. Rock through. Okay, that's gonna do a lot of damage. After the sh two sharpens. He's still tanking some hits, though. I mean, a Rock Throw from a Carbink, the same level as you, after two sharpens, that's good that he's even tanking those hits at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's good. Good shit right there. Smackdown, so we should be able to tank that, and then... Yeah, barely, but... Just throw down one more Brick Break and then call it a day. But, damn, wow. This thing was annoying as fuck. But Crab Brawler honestly really came through right now and just... I I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it, you know? It's very cool Pokemon so far. It might be my favorite out of the three so far. Which is interesting. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to get Pluck. Is that a physical move? It is. That's actually really, really nice. Because that is a lot better than 35 damage Peck. That's really important right there. That is a physical... Flying type move that is like powerful, like 60 damage. We have the straw, the sharp beak on that already, and we have, uh, da, 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 and we have stab with it. So that's gonna do a lot of damage actually. Pluck. It's gonna be a powerhouse move for us, which is very nice. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and continue what I was going to do before. Do we have Z crystals here? Where are Z crystals? There we go. So we're going to go ahead and actually give that use. Use upgrade fighting type moves to fighting type Z moves. Okay, so we'll we'll go ahead and use it on the crab brawler because it's a fighting type. Just kind of makes sense to me, you know. Your Pokemon is now holding the fight Inium Z. So there we go. Very nice. So it's holding it as an item, but it was a little bit more of like a process to get it to hold that. Which, I mean. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but, uh, I could go back and heal, but I'm really lazy right now with timing and everything. Uh, I just don't want to go back, and we've picked up a lot of healing items, so I'm okay with using a Super Potion right now. I just really want to use that Phytinium Z. Just, just, I want to do it, you know what I'm saying, man? What's up? Oh, you've got to be a travel goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here, so come on. All right. I didn't know this was going to be the trial, but is this is this the actual trial? It's a fucking farm. Oh shit! She does not look like a farmer person. I'm being honest. What's up? Thanks for stopping by. The Moomoo milk from Pinoli Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in the white sauce and other things. Mmm, the taste can't even be described. Oh man, that white stuff. Great. Great. But by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do ask a little favor, or do a little favor, whatever. So we got Stalin. Very cool. I'm not sure the difference between that and the Tauros, but... See, Stalin can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't see them. That's cool. That's what that guy was talking about. So very nice. So when you're riding Stalin, pressing the B button to use that Stalin search is what it's all about. Very nice. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff laying around waiting for you to find it. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklet Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for me if you see her. So we're not doing the trial yet? I guess we're not. What's well, okay. So I'm assuming there's a lot of Tauros and Miltanks around here, because that's the actual Pokemon that are here. 
That's actually very nice. We just got that Flatinium Z. You know what I'm saying, man? All right, so let's try and get that stat one search, which is very cool. Look at that. How do we... How do we actually, like, pick something up? So we got his attention. I mean, okay. <laughs> uh, Trumbeak, yeah, I have that. <laughs> Hello. Fooey. Oh, Fooey. Who says Fooey anymore? All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you have to, like, jump, jump off of it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's just, let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. Alright, so where are we going? We're going down here now? Ooh. Is there a trainer there? It's that guy. All right, cool. Sorry, I'm like getting thrown in all 20 different directions right now. All right, let's. Uh, I want to use that Z move. As long as it's not a ghost type, we should be fine, right? We're talking Mudbray. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We can use it on that. I think that's normal ground or just ground type, something like that. So yeah, let's just go for it, man. We got the Z move popping. I've never used a Z move like in a normal battle. So I guess we'll go for we'll go for a Z power. Is that what we gotta do? All out pummeling. Ooh, okay. Let's do it. Look at us. Mm, mm, boom. Crab road. Let's get it, man. Come on. Let's go. Uh, something like that. All out pummeling. All right. Boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. You got this, man. Let's go, homie. Ooh, look at that. Holy fuck. Damn, that's an all out assault. Woo. How are you still alive after that? Better start fucking World War 3 up in this motherfucker and you are still alive? What the fuck? Does it make sense? And my speed fell. No, that's not cool, man. Yeah. Double kick. Fuck your double kick, man. Fuck. That was anticlimactic. I'm upset. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking horse, donkey-ass piece of shit! Come on now! Come on now! Mmm. Is this an item to it? More Zygarde cubes! Uh, fuck, man. Mud bray. I don't like you anymore, you donkey piece of shit. I don't want you. Get away from me. You almost killed my crab brawler. God damn it. I don't want that to die. This is a cool Pokemon. Ether. Ether is cool. I'll take an Ether. Alright. I don't get it. How do you know when you actually like, get an item? Like, this is... Feels so, like, stupid, but, like, what the hell? Oh, my God! Super World Blocking Road! Oh, my God! That's so, like, old. <laughs> wow. All right. What are we going to get? God damn it. What are we going to get? Tauros! All right. Nah, but, you know, hey, it's all right. Should we just try and go for, uh... Oh shit, look at that attack not lowered. Love to see that. We should just go for a. Just go for an all out pummeling. Damn, look at that. Oh, that counts as like a brick break. 
That's interesting. And we also get stabbed with that, I would only assume. So, that's alright, I'm not even gonna bother. Couldn't get away, uh, maybe I should've. Maybe I should've. Maybe I will. You know what, fuck it. Fuck it. Right? Scary face, fuck your scary face! You think you're gonna intimidate this motherfucker? You think you're gonna scare the crap out of me? Look at this shit right here, we're about to motherfuck you up! Nah! Yeah! Go! Let's go, come on! Look at this shit, you ready for this? About to get fucked up, about to be like John Cena up in this piece, look at this! All out pummeling! Look at this! Look at this again! It's about to get fucked up! Ooh. Boom! Boom! Holy fuck, man! Leaves a mark like a fucking crater, like a fucking asteroid, like crashing into a planet like Jesus Christ man crazy crazy crab roller's a savage guys crab roller is a savage no doubt about it all right uh great pokemon nursery that's is that the daycare i guess that's the daycare yo we got a lolan grimer here <laughs> that's interesting so, pretty early in the game. I mean, not not incredibly early, but that's okay. Uh, hidden power. Very nice. That's actually good to know. I'm going to jot that one down. That's a good one. Uh, hidden power. Hidden power. Cool deal. I like that. That's good. Great. No, but that's cool, so you can check with her. Alright, so I heard that other regions have these Pokemon daycare places. Look at that. Look at that. We've got nurseries here in Alola, but all we do is hold onto Pokemon for you. We don't help them get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we're easier on your wallet. Huh. One of the eggs I found recently here. Sure, I'll take an egg. Why not, right? Take an egg. I'm curious what it's going to be. I don't know if we'll use it, but, you know, yeah. Crack it because, you know, you can't see what's inside. Alright. Cool. So we get an egg. Glad that we went in there. I'm very, very curious now what the hell that's going to be. Huh. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Alright. What do we have here? You gonna battle me? Alright. So... Crab World is probably about to die, which kind of sucks, but... Hey, maybe we could outspeed and kill with the Z-Move JK, he's a ghost type, so we're fucked. Alright, fair enough. I mean, yeah. I guess I'll actually try and switch, so we can get the XP still, that would be cool. Now we have Pluck, guys. We have Pluck with our Trumbeak, which is a very valuable move to have, like I mentioned. It is a powerhouse move, really. For us, just because, I mean, Peck was 35 damage, and that was doing an okay amount already, but, like, now, now we're talking 60 damage. Very nice. Then we have the, the Sharp Beak, and we have the Stab. It's very nice. Very nice move. Probably be able to hit it, maybe. There we go. Normally, Peck would have done, like, a fraction of that, so. Very cool. Fury Swipes, man! Fuck that shit. Seriously. Pluck it up, man. Pluck you. <laughs> Why didn't we kill it? Oh, you're so annoying. Why are you so annoying? <clears throat> Full restore. Oh my goodness. This is not... Wow. This is not the first time that that's happened, like, in this recording. Why? Why are you doing that? That's annoying. Uh. This fucking Sableye is not making me happy right now. Why you do this to me, man? Why you do this to me? Come on now! And then you're gonna detect? What a dick! What a dickhead this guy is! Detect and fucking full restore. And it's just furious wipes, because why not? 
Why not? That's alright. Fuck you, fuck you, Sableye. Fuck you, like, fuck your shirt, man. It's, it's not a good color combo, in my opinion, to have on a shirt. That's like a disgusting turquoise with, like, splotches of, like, fucking... What is that even? What type of yellow is that? That's like a meringue weird yellow. Not a fan of it. The hell is that even? It's like someone threw up on it. Come on. Dipshit. Alright, let me... Let me get my life together. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. Great. So what is this egg looking like? Doesn't seem close to hatching. Alright, I wouldn't expect anything more, but... Curiosity, you know what I'm saying, man? What curiosity? Amulet coin. That is very cool. All right. Very nice. So that is uh, a good item to have. Will not complain about the amulet coin. Are we on Route 5 right now? Is this Route 5 technically? All right, got another battle here. The lustrous heads. The lustrous heads. What the hell does that even mean? Look at the lustrous heads of my Pokemon. Pokemon Breeder Amanda. Okay. Lillipop. Yeah, this would be perfect for, you know, Crab Brawler, but... Nah, not right now. He's a little tired. We gotta heal him up. We'll heal him up after this battle, probably. Wow, Torakat gives no fucks. Damn, that is a refreshing sight. We got Growlithe coming out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. St uh, do you want to stand? You know what? You know what? Crab Brawler. We're gonna switch him in. We're gonna heal him up, and then we're gonna go for a Brick Break. Actually, we're kind of running out of Brick Breaks, to be honest. So we gotta be careful in that sense. But it's alright. She gotta be a little careful. Intimidate. Haha! <laughs> Fuck you, Intimidate! <laughs> oh, man. Crab Brawler is probably my favorite so far. I, I think I said that already. He's probably my favorite, though. Either way. Very cool, man. Very cool. I love it. I love it. I really do. We got Ember coming at us. Okay, as long as we don't get burned. Knock on wood. Alright, great. We're good. And, yeah, we're down to five of those brick bricks. So, we're just gonna... Z power is like it's there, so why not? Why not? I mean, it takes more time, but it's alright. We're just gonna fuck this little fucking cat up. Nah, let's go. Surrounded itself with the magical Z power, and look at that! Look at that! The all-out pummeling is about to be unleashed upon this poor little growlith. Ooh. Boom! Holy crap, man! That is just so powerful, man. That is so powerful. Holy shit. Wow. And we're going to get a level out of that. Not bad at all. Crab Brawl. And it's going to get a Bubble Beam. I mean, still not a great move for us, given the circumstances. But 65 is a lot better than 40. I'll take that. 25 damage. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn. Wow. Crab Brawl. Wow, I am so happy I'm using this thing. This thing is so much fun to use. Bubble Beam and Brick Break, those are two really nice moves. If we had that water typing, that would be even better, because, you know, you get that, uh, you know, get that stab boost with that, but that's okay. That's all right. If we can get a physical water type move, you know, that would be a little bit, you know, cooler, I'd say. We got Sudowoodo here. Great, so? <laughs> so, so what? All right. Well, anyway... Petrified of Lana. Okay, well, that sucks. That sucks. All right, let's go ahead and, yeah, run it on up. Go up here and keep it going. Keep it going. You know what, actually? Hmm. This seems like a whole new area. I mean, it is. It's Route 5. So I'm actually going to end things off there on this recording. Yeah. I don't want to open up a whole can of worms that's going to take forever, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But either way, hey guys, if you did enjoy this episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And if you watched to this point of the video, go ahead and type in the comment section, index card. I got an index card right here. Yeah, index cards. Great for organization. Just saying.
<laughs> With that being said, hey, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Hope you did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Pokemon Moon Let's Play. And hey, stay bumping. Peace.